Well, we do have a great sunrise shaping up out there across northeast Kansas. So here's a look outside at our Manhattan camera. You can see some patchy fog in the low lying areas just on the horizon here, and that's the case over much of northeast Kansas this morning. And once the sun comes up and really starts to warm things up, that fog will start to dissipate for us. Here's another look outside at our central Topeka camera. We've got a few passing clouds as a there's a complex of thunderstorms that has been weakening over the last few hours coming out of Nebraska and South Dakota, and that's what's throwing us this cloud cover this morning. Morning. But other than that, we're mainly dry here in northeast Kansas, mainly clear as well. And we'll continue to see these uh, mostly sunny skies as we go throughout the rest of the day today. Temperatures are in the upper 60s and low 70s out there. We're at 71 degrees in Manhattan, Emporia, and Hiawatha. 73 degrees in Topeka right now. And as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon, things are really going to start warming up, much like we've seen the last few days. Very typical July weather we have. And temperatures today will be in the lower 90s. Then we go through tonight, we'll drop back into the low 70s. And then for your Wednesday, another day in the low to mid 90s, but we'll probably be slightly warmer. We'll be a little bit more humid as well. And our humidity is probably going to increase just a little bit each and every day heading to Thursday and into Friday in the upcoming weekend. So even though our air temperatures are in the low to mid 90s, it's going to feel more like it's in the mid to upper 90s today, probably close to 100 degrees in some locations tomorrow. So just be aware if you have any outdoor plans, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, getting in the shade when you need to and taking frequent breaks. Now we'll have pretty quiet weather over the next couple of days. We're under this big area of high pressure here. That's going to increase our southerly winds as well, bringing us those warmer temperatures and a little bit more humidity as well. So here's a look at our future track starting this at 730 AM this morning, picking up on some of those uh, passing clouds early on, and then we'll be left with mostly sunny skies throughout the rest of the day. Today we will be mainly dry, mainly dry tonight and mainly clear as well. And then as we go throughout the daytime on Wednesday, another mostly sunny day, mostly sunny day for us until we get to the overnight hours. That's when we could start to see some showers and storms working their way in. Some of these could be on the strong side, so we'll be keeping an eye on that as we get closer to this. But some we could have some gusty winds, maybe some small hail as well. Initially, once this uh, first moves through northeast Kansas, it pushes off to the south and east throughout the early morning hours on Thursday and eventually clears the area throughout the mid morning, leaving us with some sunshine for at least the middle part of the the day on Thursday. And then we could see another round of showers and storms late Thursday night into Friday. So temperatures slowly climb up into the middle 90s by Wednesday. We'll probably back off a little bit on our temperatures for Thursday and Friday with those rain chances. And then we'll warm right back up into the middle 90s by Saturday. Now, Saturday could be a little bit warmer, especially in our western counties. And some of our communities to the west could be flirting with that 100 degree mark for the first time.